Well, hello there everybody. It's a uh, Tuesday afternoon. I've just come in from work. Um, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. It looks like that cold spell last night has uh, had a negative effect in here. And I'll show you the reason as to why. Oh, I'll show you. Never, viewers of a nervous disposition. This is sad. Um, so just be care, be wary. If you want to fast forward this, but fast forward it, all right. So, looking at the baby birds here. Unfortunately, the baby birds have died. I don't know what's happened. I don't know whether the mummy bird left the nest or if they've been a fright in here or what. But the two of them are dead. And also, there's another one on there. So it looks like I'm going to have to get rid of them, which is a sad turn of events because they're only about a week away. Um, so I'm going to have to see what's what and then. Uh, I'll show you what's happening in the shed anyways, because I made a change of the shed last night. Moving swiftly on, um, life must go on. Um, I'm in the grow shed at the moment. I'll show you what changes I've made in here. So I've got the two lights up there, the two T5s, and I've got the spider farmer light up here. Well, not anymore. I've put all the lights up, and this is how I'm going to keep them from now on as well. Um, I'm going to use the big T5s across the entirety of the bench, because it does cover well. The spider farmer light did really, really well um, on the the two foot by two foot but of course the bench is a little bit long larger than that and these plants are going to need a bit more light so i've got the t5s up here the giant onions are on the bottom there and they'll stay there and they're going to need potting on again so um they'll stay up in there for the next week couple of weeks and um, then i'll get them when the weather turns i'll get all of these taken down to the garden and get them potted into the final pots doesn't necessarily mean the spider farm is not going to be used because it is going to be used i've decided to use this for the seedlings um so that's going to stay here over the top of this the propagator so the propagator the warm bottom uh it's seen over the top here i've got kohlrabi in here some giant beetroots which are late and some other um red cabbage and stuff as well which needs potting on so this light comes on it's on for um 14 hours uh, 13 hours sorry at the minute with the cool natural daylight um so that helps them out because they were getting a little bit uh with that light being too, a little bit higher up there they were failing for light so i want to show you if this makes a difference so We'll see what you can do on these babies. Morning everybody, it's Wednesday morning. It's a lovely day off work. Uh, yeah, it was sad news yesterday about the baby chicks. I've managed to um, dispose of them discreetly. Um, so that is a, that's another thing sorted out. Um, and I've gotten me shelf back as well. So I've got some things on the shelf at home in the greenhouse. Anyways, I've done the plot this morning. Um, I've got a lot of things to be getting on with. I'm going to get cabbages, plant, uh, cauliflowers planted out. Um, there's no shows for them, so I might as well put them out. They're ready to go out in any case. Um, and also, I'm going to get the ground sorted out and ready to go because these are going to be sitting outside uh, for the next few days because they're going to get planted at the weekend. So lots to get done, lots to get sorted. Let's get cracked on. Got a couple of helpers did here, so we're getting them out for their exercise and enjoying the sunshine. They're going to be planting the cauliflowers that I've brought down. I'll show you what the cauliflowers look like and uh, we'll get them planted out. Okay, me and Elizabeth, well, because uh, I've lost my bull plant, I don't know where I've put it. <laughs> I know I've got one, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> Grand idea of saying. Um, so we've got the clapped cauliflower here, which is ready to go out. Bursting to come out of the bottom there, as you can see. I'm going to plant them into this section here. And they're going to be they're going to be massive, so we're going to plant them in the holes, put them in, cover them over, and then I'm going to cover this whole section over with a bit of fleece so that the birds can't kind of nibble at the air, clap and cauliflower. So put the um, clapping cauliflower in, there's uh, 11 all together, so I've just chucked a spare one in the middle there. We've got two at the back, two there, two, three across the middle, two here, and two at the front. And I've just put this, uh, just knocked this up very quickly, just to cover it from the birds and the caterpillars. So that'll stay like that. I'm going to give them a water in and that's that task done. Right, that's the kids of getting these giant cabbages out. Um, obviously I haven't been able to rotivate the ground because I'm going to rotivate it um, but we managed to stamp it down so we can get the plants outside and then we're going to put the cover over the top I'm just going to cover the entirety of this structure out so little Elizabeth here is busy watering them because they need a good drink and we're going to water around the bottoms as well so we can keep the base dry, the, the floor dry so the water goes down um, and that'll be it sorted so hey, good job Elizabeth <laughs> 
So we've got Sky, because of water and all of the, I've just put some hen pellets in, some hen manure, around the base, um, just watering at the top. Sky's busy watering everything down. He's busy clearing all the sticks up, and putting the sticks in a bag. And we're going to tackle this bed, just going to tackle this bed, take all the weeds out, so I can get on with something else. Keep going, Elizabeth, good job. What I'm going to get done is I'm going to get the braces put in the sides and the corners, and I'm going to get the start making a bit more of this framework. But I'll show you it after I've finished it because I haven't got my camera standing it yet. Right, getting this sorted out so the, st the strengtheners are in. So we've got one long piece going down there, one in the other corner, one on this side here, and one on this side here. I've also got little bits on the side as well. I've also put two in the middle so that when, if move it, cut this, this isn't going, this isn't going. There's a bit of flex which is supposed to be each way so that when, when the wind gets it, it can move, move a little bit. We still need to put the frame on the outside, but what we're going to do first of all, we're going to put the, uh, the skirt all the way along the edges and we're just going to pin it down on the inside till I can get some more wood for the bottom. So that's done, temporary measure, just so that the birds can I get to them. So they're outside now, that's it. Done, we're going to get temperatures of 7 degrees overnight from what I can see in the future. Um, that's 8 cabbages in here and I'm taking to two down for little one down for Kyle for the back garden. So that's that job done. Fantastic. And uh, I'll show you what me and Gran has been doing and uh, sort of the skirt out on the polytunnel. So the task by the end of this week was to get the, the strengthener bars on the polytunnel and also get the skirt on as well. Well, good news. Job is a good one. So what we've got, of course, is like I showed you before, got the strengthener bars on across the sides, across the sides, across the middle section at the top there as well, and the corner sections. And what I've got in the middle here is we have tied the, the netting on as well. So all it is is stapled on across the top, double skinned, nice and tight. And all I've done, I've tucked it in down the back. Right there, I've, uh, I've pegged it down temporary measure just to make sure I get it done done and in same with down the back there as well that's the reason why it's not fully tight all the way down and then that's all the way down there as well now I've still got some soil to put in here still got a little bit to go uh, a couple more barrelfuls um, but that is all done so let's just take a step back and then my other work so there we have it new tunnel is taking shape just got to get the front and the back um, framed out so I can get windows in. Um, there's no point in doing it if you're not going to do it properly first time round. I say, learned a lot of lessons from that one. This one isn't moving anywhere. I'm really impressed. I'm really proud of what I've done so far with Granda and the help of the little ones as um, well. So we've got the um, framework to put on and the door to put on and then I can put the skin on. Um, then the leaks can go in. So we've still got another few weeks going to have three four weeks before I put the first lot of leaks in and um, which will be going into the smaller tunnel and the later leaks will be going into this tunnel here so still plenty of time I could plan out for another two month time like I said there's no shows so we'll just see what happens I'll get me timing a little bit off with a few leaks but uh, we'll be able to get them in here in anyways right Elizabeth I think that's us for the day okay. I am tired <laughs> I've still got loads of seeds to sow, seeds to sow even, and I've also got the red cabbage to pot up, but I'll do them on Saturday. Everything's had a water, everything's had a drink. It's time for me to have a drink. I'll catch you on, uh, on the live stream tonight. So, see you then, and I'll see you again on Saturday. Good evening, everybody. It is Thursday evening. I've come down to the plot to, um, to do a few odd jobs while I've been down here. It's, um, it's a it's amazing how still so light it is. Uh, so I'm going to. I've just been tinkering on. I'm getting some stuff sorted out. I will to show you uh, tomatoes. Uh, I've got some sun gold tomatoes which I've had in the corner. As you know, I've had a bit of an issue with my tomatoes, and that's because I've ended up getting them out. I've made a mess up with them, so I know what I've done, and I'll do it differently now as well. Uh, Granda's got loads sown. I knew I always had Granda as a backup as well. Uh, he's got his little tomato factory on the on the coat at the minute, so uh, not all is lost. Um, so let us show you how uh, these sun golds have been performing, and the reason why I'm doing. I did have the sun goads in these pots and the compost was saturated. 
it was really bad um that's like I say it's one issue with watering from below when you're walking away um when you're not here um if you leave the water in too much it'll just sit in damp water damp compost even sorry and that's not good for tomatoes so i've taken them out but not all is lost so that's them here they're a bit blue from the cold i brought them back into the um in the hot greenhouse should i say and to give them a chance but as you can see my next to this one here this little one here look at the new roots that's look at the new roots that's growing on there from the stem because i potted it up that's the reason why you pot tomatoes up so i'm going to pop these up now just like i've done with them two there they're in new compost and then i'm going to rest on now as well Lots of movement going on in here, um, so let me just show you very quickly what I've done here. So I've been moving, obviously, a lot of stuff that was across here and it's all been moved and sorted out. Uh, I've got my tumbling, yellow tumbling toms sitting up on the top there, getting some sun. I've already pushed them down at the pot. I was going to leave them in the pot for a little bit longer, but I might even just pot them up when I come down tomorrow night. Um, so things are getting a drink down there as well. Uh, I've taken these mini chrysanthemums um, from over the top of the heat and they're getting a drink and then uh, they're, they're rooted, they're all fantastic um some gold tomatoes are all potted up uh, and i've got still got these uh, collies to put up as well um, i've potted up all of these cucumbers so at the back here we've got 10 telegraph um then we have uh, so 11 telegraph and we have five seven um telepathy so i've got plenty of cucumbers to play with this year um which is fantastic now i do really need to get going but one more task before i go uh, i'm going to sow um some flowers um so these are really nice flower they're open for the sunshine and they close on a cold night time as well and it's amazing watching them follow the sun so um i'm going to show you how i'm going to sow these and i'll show you how to see it as well so here's what i'm going to sow i'm going to sow some mesembryan anthemum otherwise known as livingston daisy so i'm going to sow this now i'm going to use these trays because i had a good uh Good, um, one good germination, and also um, it was easy to take them out here and put it on the ground where applicable. So that's the reason why I'm using these 20 cell seed trays. What I'm going to do is just do a fine cover over the top of all of this and all on here, and then on the back of the seed, of course, it states on the back so thinly in trays of seed compost. You can't really see that there. Uh, cover with a fine layer of compost and firm gently keep moist. So that's exactly what I'll be doing. So that's what Mess and Brian Anthemum seeds look like, little white dots there. So all I'm going to do is use a fine layer of compost. I'm going to get my sieve and I'm going to sieve over the top of these and that'll be them sorted out as well. Right, that's another just, uh, little few in our pot and on and getting stuff sorted. So little nothing guys, little nothing. Uh, I just want to say thanks everybody for joining in the quiz last night. It was a really good laugh. Uh, well done to the 13 people that won the prizes. Um, and thanks for, so far I've getting around about half people getting in contact with me. So if you haven't already done so, please send me a message. My email is deansloftheplot at outlook.com and or you can get us on Facebook as well. So I've already got um, the names of the winners. So uh, <laughs> No stinky people. Uh, so yeah, right, I'll catch you all tomorrow. I've just, just had word I've got a delivery of stuff, so I'll show you what I've picked up tomorrow as well. Good afternoon. It's Friday afternoon. Weekend time. Woohoo! Four days off. Looking forward to it. Get the polythrone done on the weekend. Get everything else sorted out. A few more tasks to be done, so we'll get this done. Um, in the meantime, I'll show you what I picked up, uh, what I managed to get delivered yesterday, like I said at the end of yesterday, um, I want to go back home. I picked a couple of bags of compost up here today, um, so that I can put on a few more things at home. I've got a giant sweet to put on, which I'm f well far behind with them. Um, in the meantime, I'm down the garden, I'm going to put some more compost in here, and I'm going to put up my giant cabbage. Uh, sorry, not my giant cabbage, my giant beetroot. Here's me giant beetroot at the moment. So we've got them in pine pots. And they're bursting to be potted on, so I'm putting them into the two litre pots here. So there's plenty to be here, uh, plenty of space for them to grow. I put a little bit of uh, my core in, and I'm going to transplant them over. I've already done one, so that's going to sit in there nicely. And I'll get transplanted from a three to a five when the time comes, then planting out. So that's a plan with them, anyways. Right, I've getting some more bits and pieces sorted out there. I'm just busy filling up the water, but um, I'll show you what I've uh, getting potted on. Into the middle of the greenhouse, as you can see there, I've got eight giant beetroot. These are all potted on into two litre pots. I say behind, but it doesn't really make a difference because there's no shows, so it doesn't make a difference anyways, but I've got them in any case. And uh, these are some of my saved giant cabbage seed, so I'm, uh, they're looking quite well actually, since I potted them up into the two litre pots. Um, these are from my own saved cabbage, so I'll see how things go with them. Um, I've got some um, quality onions in the back here, which are sitting doing all right as well. I've also potted on some of these red cabbage, so these are the smaller ones. Um, so... I've got six of them to play with, and these are for my own saved seed as well for the giant red cabbage. Greenhouse here, 
I've potted all these up as well. These are the larger these are the larger ones of my own saved seed, the giant red cabbage. I've potted all them into these three little pots, um, three little tubs. So they're all sitting there nicely. The Yorkshire giants are sitting there doing well as well. They're all all right. You can see, getting them, getting them open, getting them a spray, getting them a good drink. And um, behind us here, obviously all the seeds that I'm starting to sow, cold sowns. Um, they're just going to stop in here. And look at this. Looks like we've got some uh, some germination already. Look at that. So three days, and we've got germination. That's on the purple top Milan. So hey, good stuff. I've um, I've got all of these, which are all sitting sitting nicely. Just give them a spray for thrip. These are the um, the Betty Blacks that I got off uh, Rob. Um, so I'll be taking good care of them. And uh, these ones here are the Cumbrians, which are coming along. A little bit behind what I would like them to be, but uh, they're doing all right. I'll show you the, the five that's in the polytunnel, and then that'll be me for the day. Polytunnel here at the back. These are ready to go in the ground. They need to be potted up, to be honest. These are the Cumbrians. Um, they're in five litre pots at the minute. These these five are going in the ground so earlier than the seven litre ones. They're the two Cumbrians I've got left um, from Joe McKenzie's um, leaks which I'm very happy with the way they've turned out so far. These will be the first ones. These were supposed to be for a show in August, which more likely is not going to take, not going to happen anymore. I'll just clear that off there. See, if you see a job, get it done. So that's that cleared off. So, yeah, but we'll see what comes of them. If not, anything, I've got stock leaks. Hopefully, as long as these come up, like I said, they look really nice. Um, as long as they come to fruition, I should have a couple of bits of stock for 2022. So, happy days. So I've taken some compost home. I've got my giant sweet to pot on. I've got some other stuff to pot on down home as well in the shed. I can just tinker on with them if I want. If I want to do it later on, I'll do it later on. If I want to do it first thing in the morning, I'll do it first thing in the morning, but I'll get that little bit done first. Um, the plan over the weekend to get the new cover on the new tunnel because um, it's ready to go, basically. Um, so me and Gwen are going to get that sorted out, so look forward to that. Um, and I'll catch you over the next four days. Well, I'll see you on Sunday, but lots of work to be done for me. Morning everybody, it is now uh, Saturday morning, first day of four days off. Um I'm at home at the moment. Um I'll like I say I've got I've gotten a delivery two days ago of a few things. Um first things first, I got another uh, I think I got a thousand um, pint cups, so I've got plenty of cups to be potting on with. From the kids playing with them this morning, they built a big wall. <laughs> <laughs> Let them get cracked on with that. Um, so I got a few things potted on last night. Um, I, I'll show you them in the shed very quickly um, after I've done what I've done in here. This, this is the next step of potting on here. So I've got some red Kilimanjaro, Kilimanjaro, um, that I got from the AGVGA, which are once again behind. And I've got some kohlrabi there as well, which once again are behind. So I'm going to get them potted on this morning and then. Uh, I've got some beetroot to pot up as well. In the grow shed here. So this is what I got potted on last night. I got all the giant swede potted on. Then um, we'll see how they they turn out. I've got um, how many have I got? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got eleven all together. Um, so I've got eleven to play with. I had eight last year, I think. But um, once again, I'm behind with them. But it doesn't really make a difference this year. We're just going for personal bests. So I've got still got a lot of plants, which uh, I did promise a lot of people. I'm going to put a care package together and get um, some plants delivered to Blue Star Dave, uh, Dave's allotment. Um, so I'm going to put a few things together for him, and I'm going to um, obviously I've got to, somebody coming to pick them up and take them up for him. Um, because of course non-essential travel, so I've getting somebody to do it for us. Um, basically, <laughs> business is courier. Uh, so yeah. Gonna get that sorted out from the day, um. So you're welcome, Dave. Um, and uh, I'm gonna get this done and head on down down, down the garden. Another lot of potting on done. Sort it out. So we've got seven of the uh, the giant red cabbage, the calamaro, and we've I've got four kohlrabi. Let's see, nothing special. We'll see what happens over the course of the year. So an update for the hashtag sunflower challenge 2020, hosted by Nick's allotment. I've pretty well had a good germination with all the seeds I've gotten from Nick. Um like I say these five here were um the the for the potatoes, so obviously they're not gonna come up just as yet. Um but I've gotten a fair few. I think there's one, two, three, uh four, five, uh, say they're about three quarters of a dozen, so eight or something that hasn't come up out of all them, so there's plenty to go from there. But also still got all of these to come as well. So I've got plenty of sunflowers to play with. Uh, little Kyle's uh, cabbages are coming along fine as well, which is really good. I think I'm going to have to give these a drink. The lift test, detailing that, yes, I'm going to have to give them a drink. So, let's get back on the next one. About 30 litre pots from, uh, from Oakland Garden Centre. 
So thanks very much, Tony, for uh, hit, letting me know upon that. So I found out about these on um, my family gardens live video, which uh, Tony O'Neill from Simplify Simplify Gardening um, mentioned. Uh, so these are going to come in handy for uh, leeks, onions, potatoes, anything like that. For 10 buckets, I think I paid £35, including delivery as well. So uh, not too bad. I think I'll get another few more when I can of them. But uh, they're going to come in very handy, 30 litre pots. I don't know if you can remember, um, but uh, when was it? Let me just double check. Uh, 23rd of the 3rd. Um, obviously, that's the last time I had a break in. Um, and I need to check myself up. So I started putting some uh, mini chrysanthemums in for some more free plants. Well, happy days the day because I've started to pot some more up. And uh, more good news, I can take some more as well. So these are the ones that I put in. I've got pink, they're just the pink mini mums. As you can see there. Nice rootage on them, so I'm busy potting them up into these buckets here. So I've got them ones, and I've also got these ones as here. I think I might just do this next year, to be quite honest with yourself. It's so much easier. It might take a little bit more space up, but it saves something to pot on. So these are the ones that I've got here. Some of them haven't taken. That one has. That one hasn't really taken, so they've been it. Uh, so look, that one has, that one has. We'll separate them up in any ways. And anyhow, uh, anyhow, let's take a look. I've pulled this one up already. Is it this one or this one? One of them I've already pulled up. Let's have a look and see what it's like anyways. Look at that. Good rootage on them. Just from putting it in, putting it in the middle, taken, sorted, done. Um, so yeah, I've got lots and lots of different plants there. Got some yellow ones, some bronze ones, and some pink ones. I'm busy potting the pink ones up at the minute. These ones I'm going to put in from here into the pine cups and um, but first of all i'm going to send a couple of these to chris evans chris i haven't forgotten about you matey and um, these are the ones that i've been waiting for and i'll get these sent out as soon as possible so thanks very much for your patience so i'll get them ones done i'll show you these outside actually because i've still got some left in from outside these ones yeah so these ones were the pink ones i think and as you can see i snipped the tops off these are all last year's growth and this year's growth is flying through these are only second year plants they do really well I mean, lovely little bushy plants. Nice bit of colour all the way down here when the time comes. Oh, I've got a couple of rogue daffodils here. Look lovely. Doubles. I'm walking past the spring display. Obviously a lot of things are dying back now, but uh, where one dies back, another comes up. And look at them. They're pretty ones. I like them ones. But yeah, it's still ongoing. It's, I get a lovely couple of weeks out of these now which is nice. Um, I will be digging a lot of these up um, to move them around and things. And I've actually got other plans for this area as well, so we'll have to see what happens over the next 12 to 4, 24 months. But I'm pleased with how that's turned yeah, out. That's got me in the mood for some more free plants. So uh, I'll show you the, the mother plants, uh, and I'm going to do a little bit different way this time around. The mother plants that I've had on the bench at the back there, and obviously this all over this hot weather and the sunshine, we've getting uh, some more nice cuttings available so i'm going to take some more cuttings from these because i've got plenty of pink ones it's just the yellow and bronze ones that i don't have loads of um i said that a lie i do actually but i've got i've got 10 of each on that side but i want to do one more one more lot so i'm going to do one more lot of yellow and uh, yellow and red and they're going to be going into this marigold tray here so i'm just going to pop them in uh, each one and then just let them get a good root ball we're going to be very quick with these ones because they're going to be um rooting out quick uh, then pop them into the paint pots or the little pots over there I'll probably put them in them and then they're from them straight outside in the in the ground and um, so i'm going to crack on with these and i'll show you them after that's them sorted Let's see how they turn out that's the last of the the minimums planted up um right time to find on the next task hi polytunnel i want to get the cover on but before i put the cover on i need to get the framework done at the back I need to put a framework in the back so I can put a wind in. So I'm just scrounging around now, seeing what wood I've got. Um, the inside, the front sections, I can do the windows on the inside later time. It's not a problem. Um, but I want to get the big section done at the back. I'm debating what kind of wind to have in here. Um, but it's going to go to work with what wood we've got. So granite's just over there, as you can see. Looking in the stockpiles to see what we've got. So I can frame out the back. What I'm thinking of is because the outside, this going to attach to this outside section here. Because the wood's on the outside, I obviously need something on the inside for the plastic. Um, we'll have to screw it into there, but we're going to have to have something that's going to be potentially the full length from there down over to the bottom. 
to push it in the hole. I don't know. We're going to have a look in any ways to see what we can get sorted out. I don't even know whether it'll have like a, a long window across there. I don't know. We'll, have to, we'll see what's Well, what. I want to get the plastic on, but it's not going to happen. Like I say, there's no point in rushing anything. Do it right first time and you'll not end up with a mess like I did with this one. So lessons learned from that one going into this one. So what I've done, what me and Grant have done even, it's not all just me here. We've framed up the back. So we've got that big window there. I can even put a hinged window in if need be, so I can let it in and out if need be. That's just going to be mesh across that section once I get the plastic on. So we're getting that bit done. That'll be days, and we're also getting the front section bit done as well. So I've cut that, and that's in there. I just need my drills uh, run out, the battery juice. So I need to go and uh, fill them up. <laughs> I'm going to charge them up again, and I'll get the rest of the, the screws screwed into there as well. Um, so I can get the plastic on tomorrow. Now with the plastic I've got, I'm going to have to do it in two pieces, so one piece on the front, one piece on the back, so it comes over, because it's about 40, 40 centimetres on that side, and it's 40 centimetres short on that side as well. It's the same stuff that I put on top of there for this, so that, that's what we're going to put on here for this year, and we'll see how long that lasts. So, Dave's getting his delivery as well, so I hope you have a uh, cracking uh, grow with all the stuff I sent up for you, Dave. Um, so that's Dave, Dave's allotment. Um, I see he's, he's he's done a lot of for me as well, so it's always nice to give um, people stuff back who's helped you out. So uh, they say there's giant uh, giant uh, beetroot there, things in there as well. So we should have a, a little good competition there to see who can get the biggest beetroot this year. Uh, so that's me done for today. We're going to get crack on with that uh, polytunnel tomorrow and hopefully have it done and sorted so I can get the inside of the bed sorted. So I'll see you tomorrow. Morning everybody, Sunday morning, what an absolute beautiful day, it's exactly what I wanted and exactly what I expected from the forecast as well, which is fantastic. Uh, grandfather's been down and opened the windows, uh, which is great, gives us a chance to get stuff sorted out. So this morning, we're going to get the polytunnel cover put onto the polytunnel itself. There's a lot of prep work we've done beforehand though, so what I need to do is I need to cut the spars, ready to go for and nip the plastic on, so I'm going to pull it tight, screw the screws through the um, lengths of lat straight into this framework which we did yesterday um, obviously I need to sand down the hoops as well and get the cover up uh, the plastic on the uh, outside of there as well so that the plastic doesn't rub on the hoops itself if there's any nicks or anything like that it can cause a tear um, other stuff that needs to be sorted out as well obviously the the, um, the cover needs to be warm so that we can stretch it over on a nice sunny day it is today the cover's already in the polytunnel uh, the one that I've got already built so that's warming through so that was already done preparation um yesterday so lots of prep work we've done this morning before i even think about getting the polytunnel cover on and there's want to do something with the polytunnel cover that i've got that i've not done before and that's one of the join two pieces together so uh it is what it is must is a must um until i get sorted with a new a uh, good size polytunnel cover um but we'll see how things go today anyways like i say it's all learning experience learning curve so let's get a crack on So first things first, we need to sand the sand, uh, sand the um, plastic down so there's no bits catching the plastic. Uh, well, that's giving us a hand here, so I'm going to get this uh, done. Then I'm going to cut the lengths off across here, um, so that's all prepped like a big jigsaw piece. So that's that side and down, it wasn't too bad to be honest, um, so we're going to get the rest of the stuff cut so that we can have like an Ikea flat pack, so we just need to put the screws in and we'll pull it tight, so we're going to get that done now in preparation, then the cover's going to be going over the top, then we'll sort that bit out, going to wing that basically because we've got no idea how it's going to fit. <laughs> moment of truth now that's all that sorted out what we're going to do is we're going to get the plastic put over the top and um, i'll show you what we've done here at the side we've made a little trap so that we can get the um plastic pulled over the top because we're going to need to double this so we can stitch it together so let's see how this uh, this works out So 
So because it needs stitching, what we're going to do is we've already marked it for how far we want it to go. Then we're going to pull it back over and stretch it across and cut it two equal lengths. So I'm just going to move the camera now and then uh, we'll get that done. Stitch is done, let's see how it looks on top now. Hey, not too bad. We've managed to measure that all right. We've clamped the inside of the door frames and at the back as well. What we're going to do is I'm going to uh, tack that side on first, the full length lat, then come to this side, pull it down, tack it on, and then do the inside, the back side of the door and the front side of the door. You're going to see it done very quickly. <laughs> Right, that's the sides done. It's nice and taut actually. It's actually tighter than the one that was there uh, that's next door. Um, <laughs> I haven't even got the front and back sorted yet. So we're gonna do the back first, and then we're gonna do the front, and then get the outside bits done, and that's the cover on. So hopefully it doesn't take much longer. Well, there we have it. That's the um, that's it all tight and all uh, nipped into place. So now we've just got to go around the edges and clean it off. There we go, jobs are good. So that's even the door runner, the, the last for the door runner going on. Um, now the only thing I need to do is to make a frame for the back window, mesh it out, put the, sort the door out and it's done. But I'm very, very happy with the way that turned out today. So let's give you a quick tour of the outside and inside and that's it for this week. I'm absolutely ecstatic with this, I am. I'm not gonna lie, I'm absolutely buzzing for it. A few lessons I've learned from doing that one to this one. Um, it's handy, even just doing it on the, um, just now, it's handy having washers attached to the screw heads to pull it in a bit tighter. Also, when it comes to the corner sections here on the front, what you need to make sure that they're not in a way in which they can pull water. Like this bit here is no good because it can pull water and drop water through there. So what I have to do is try and coax that around there like that so that just water just runs off. That's absolutely fine. Um, also, Whilst I've been doing it, I should have done it on the back side as well. I've done it on the fronts instead of the inside, because I did it on the inside on them ones, on that one. Um, but if I do it on the outside, yeah, it keeps everything nice and tight as well. So I've just tacked it to the, nipped it on the outside, as opposed to what I've done on the back there. Because I've done it on the inside at the back and just pulled it round. So what I think I may do is, I may take these and put them on the other side and cut it and be a bit neater um, so that I can get actually get the window flush instead of having these bits 
on the inside. So I'll just put it on the outside, snip it, so that I can get it the good frame for the window. Um, everything else in here, I mean, it's a bit of loose, bit of play, but it can't, it can't crumble. It can't crumble at all. The structure's not going anywhere. It's a bit of play in it for the wind, which is absolutely fine. I do have to put, fund, I did, we did find a hole, three holes actually. Like I said, it's already been taped. I want to put some tape across there and tape on the other side as well, but it can't be helped. I mean, I got the, I got the cover with everything else, anyways. Um, this, this fix. Hopefully that lasts. If it doesn't, let us see. I just want to put a new cover on, but everything's already cutting, anyways. But the inside, it's absolutely spot on. Let's see, I couldn't be any happier with it. Lots of plans, lots of things I can get sorted. I can even put some beams straight down there as well for a bit more extra support in the middle. Um, and I can put a framework in, I can put benches in. Oh, I've got all sorts I can get sorted with this now. I'm absolutely over the moon. Absolutely over the moon. Um, the insides, I could sort out with the beds on the insides. I've got scaffold boards now as well. So there's lots of things I can get sorted with this. Let's have a look at it from, uh, from the outside. Of course, that was the older one. That's the other one. I'm not uh, doing much with that one at the minute. Plans for it. And uh, of course, this is the outside of the new one. Much better, isn't it? Much better. Not, not tidier, a lot neater. Absolutely fantastic. I am, I'm actually over the moon with it. Can't lie. I left enough gap with the back. I could have went an extra two foot, but I didn't want to do what I did the first one and leave no space at the back so I couldn't get in because it's a much neater job at the back now than it was on the other side. But hi. Buzzing. Speaking of buzzing. Hello, Mr. B. <laughs> well, that's me done for this week. I'm um, I'm absolutely buzzing, buzzing with it. Fantastic job. So once again, thanks very much to Grant that day for all his assistance. Like you say, we've learned a lot of lessons. Um, putting this one up as opposed with opposed to the other one. Um, plans with the other tunnel are going to be as soon as we're getting this growing season sorted out, take the cover off, take all the framework out, reframe it just like I've done in here, so it's a much more secure, and then put the cover back on, put it on, do exactly the same as what I've done on this. So that that'll be done as well. So I'll have the two tunnels ready to go. Um, I'll be bringing the 40 litre air pots into here, down the middle section here, to see if, what the size are, and uh, see what um, see what space I can get in between and stuff like that, so I can squeeze past them, because that's where the onions were planning on be going. Um, I might even just put the, because um, these 10, these 30 litre buckets here, these are for the um, the giant, uh, Yorkshire giants, so that's these are going to be in here, in the pathways. So that's where they're going, and the rest of the leaks, the Betty Black leaks and stuff, are going to be going in the other beds as well. So, lots of things to be going on with in the first week of May when I start planting out. But I am absolutely over the moon with this. I'm sure you'll agree, it's a really good job. Still not finished yet, got to put the door and the window on, but for the main framework and they're getting the polytone cover on, fantastic. Worked out well as well through today with being lovely and sunny. Right, I'm going to go home now and uh, I'll uh, get this video edited and get it uploaded. So once again, thanks everybody for subscribing. Thanks everybody for their comments. Thanks everybody for joining in on Wednesday. It was an absolute blast. Um, if I could get you to those who won, if you could just send me an email. The email that you need to send your uh, to send me an email to is deanslosttheplot at outlook.com and then I'll send you my address so that you can send your stamp addressed envelope. Um, and I've already got a list of the winners, so don't just uh, don't think yourselves funny if you think you can just get away with sending one. Um, but no, if you could send us over, I'm getting I think about eight or nine um, out of thirteen. So if those people who won who haven't contacted me yet, please do ASAP um, so that we can get the ball rolling with that because it'll be time to put the, uh, the the pumpkins in first week of May so the faster you get it done the faster you can be on target to get them started off so yeah everybody thank you very much for watching thanks for subscribing uh, thanks for uh, but yeah, commenting and everything as well so it's been absolutely fantastic uh, I'll see you tonight on the premiere um, that's where I'm going to head off to now so watch what you're doing stay safe take care and I'll catch you all next week